Hong Kong. A fast-moving dragon with a valley full of people, stunning buildings, and umbrellas. Hey. Today we will be talking about a hidden gem in Hong Kong, Lei Yu Moon. Guess what? Let's get started. This is a male pose from the culinary age of Hong Kong. It is originally red in color, but when handed over, it is changed back into green. This is gonna be the best day of my life. To discover more, King Tong decided to give us a lecture. Here is the Praia Street, one of the best for seafood. As you can see, there's a lot of Cantonese restaurants along this road. This is called Avalon. Uh, look at how big they are. It's a uh, relatively expensive food. So I keep this goodbye to every little house of pain. Light a cigarette and whisper. Then, after a 15 minutes walk, we saw a temple. This temple is originally built by pirates in the 18th century to be used as a headquarters and a command center to battle against the army at the time. But now uh, it's already changed to a purpose which you can burn things for your dead relatives and bring in good luck to the fishermen people. You can't go wrong with a trip here. Sort of. With that, we proud on. Surprise if Indiana Jones is having a good time with a go. Soon we came across a desert mine just next to the jagged coastline with many things. Come on, mate. We're nearly there. See the white tent there? That is originally the, the camp for the British troops during the invasion of the Japanese in the 1940s. But now it has been converted to a museum. <whistles> Ladies and gentlemen, that's the lighthouse, sort of. Um, the warrior to guide the shipping industry through the dark and finally contribute to our society and bring hope to millions with a leave from that we headed to our final destination Devil's Peak So this is the Dewar Pigs Fort. This fort is to prevent the Japanese occupation. It's on the plan called the Gene Drinkers Plan. This is basically an old cannon just to prevent the Japanese from attacking the Hong Kong Island. By the looks of this remains of this fortress, you can see and imagine the bravery and altruism of those who fought for peace and freedom and therefore lost their lives in this battle. I came in like a wrecking People often say that Hong Kong nowadays is nothing more than just a deserted colony of Great Britain. The thing is though, I disagree. We aren't a group of plucky people that is happy to come home second. And best of all, we won't be humiliated by China on football. And I believe we, the seven millions, can be as proud as we think we are now. By the way, that's my bear.